months in Poland's presidential election, election show the incumbent Andrzej Duda in first place, but short of the 50% of votes needed for an outright win. Rafał Czaskowski, the liberal mayor of the capital Warsaw, was his closest rival, getting just under 30% of the votes. We'll now go to what looks set to be a closely fought runoff. The BBC's Adam Easton reports from Warsaw. President Duda celebrated his first round victory with his wife in a small provincial town. In places like this, Mr. Duda's socially conservative views and support for the government's generous welfare benefits scheme are very much appreciated. Those payments have helped lift many Poles out of poverty and restored a sense of dignity to people who felt neglected by previous administrations. But their support was not enough to secure an outright victory. And Mr. Duda will now face a second round in two weeks' time. Thank you very much. Thank you. The result is far better than the one from five years ago, and with ten of the candidates this time, thank you very much for your support. But first and foremost, I'd like to thank my compatriots for the turnout, for this massive participation in the election. I thank you with all my heart. Turnout of almost 63% was the highest in 25 years. Long queues formed outside many voting stations as people observed social distancing. The coronavirus pandemic itself was not a big campaign issue, but it stopped the election taking place last month as it was originally scheduled to. That allowed the main opposition party to put forward a new candidate, Rafał Czaskowski, the Liberal Mayor of Warsaw, who supports greater engagement with the EU. He ran a dynamic campaign and quickly became President Duda's main challenger. This result shows that 58% of people want to change, and today I want to tell you all, I will be your candidate. I will be the candidate of change. This election is important because the president can veto legislation. If he wins the second round, Mr. Czaskowski has pledged to block the government's plans to take even greater control of the media and the judiciary. The EU says the sweeping changes the government has already made has undermined the rule of law and democracy. The stakes are high and the final result at this stage is too close to call. Adam Easton, BBC News, Warsaw. Well, Mark Jim Makowski is a journalist for Conservative Weekly newspaper, Dos Ratcha. We can speak to him live now in the capital, Warsaw. Welcome to you. Thanks very much for being with us. What's the reaction been to this result? Thank you for the invitation. Uh, the uh, reaction changed, uh, I can say, even uh, dramatically after we showed the early polls, exit polls uh, yesterday. Uh, evening, because today in the morning when we have almost complete uh, score of the election commissions, uh, it turns out that Andrzej Duda has even higher uh, percentage of, 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 of people that vote for him. It's almost uh, 45 and a half, and Rafał Czaskowski has less than expected, and it's below 29%. So that was the threshold for Andrzej Duda that he's supposed to be above uh, 40%. And his uh, campaign managers expected that Rafał Czaskowski will be below 30%. And it turns out that is right now a fact. And it changed uh, the dynamic of the, uh, of the second round of the election. Yeah, what's Mr. Czaskowski going to have to do to push this over the line now? Is it possible for him to win, do you think? Of course, this is possible because the, the second round is a completely different story. You vote not in favor of your candidate because you have only two of them. So you have to be choosing lesser evil for some people. Uh, but Rafał Czaskowski has a, a difficult uh, situation to start from because he right now can take uh, voters from Szymon Hołownia, the second quasi-liberal candidate, the former co-host of Poland's Got Talent. That's interesting story itself. Uh, and he probably was going to give his support to Czaskowski, but the another one who had also a, a, a unexpectedly high turnout, Krzysztof Bosak from the more uh, nationalist and even more than peace conservative uh, part, uh, party Confederacja, can uh, suggest that he's going to give his support to Andrzej Duda, uh, but he said that he's not going to give, give it to anyone. But his suggestions, suggestions may be 
uh, more in favor of Andrzej Duda, so Rafał Trzaskowski don't have a lot of space to create uh, more votes, and uh, the, the, the result of Andrzej Duda is the highest since uh, 2000, when uh, Aleksander Kwaśniewski won in, uh, in the first round of the election, and it never happened in Poland before. And what does that say about the future of Poland, where the people of the country want it to go, given that he is uh, opposed to the EU and very close to President Trump? It looks right now, if this uh, result is going to be maintained in the second round, that maybe uh, Andrzej Duda has even more uh, support than people were expecting, because this right-wing social voters in Poland are always, pretty much always, in polls. Uh, underrated and they mobilize when they see that there is a real threat uh, to this kind of lifestyle and, and social benefits. And Rafał Trzaskowski was that threat and still is, of course. And Andrzej Duda, in my opinion, in the second round of the election, if he's going to be a president uh, for the second candidacy, can be a different uh, president than we saw uh, before. Everyone that I spoke from, uh, from the highest political circle in Poland and is uh, especially tells me that Andrzej Duda will be a more independent uh, president because he doesn't have to fight for the re-election, because he can only be in Poland the president for the two times. So that will be a different story, and uh, I wouldn't say that Andrzej Duda would be uh, the same uh, candidate uh, back then, but strong transatlantic relations will uh, will United States will be maintained uh, as long as Donald Trump will be president in United States. But if he's going to be not, because Joe Biden also has a good outcome uh, in, in the polls right now, maybe it will be uh, closer ties, he will have to have a closer ties with the European Union. So not everything is so clear right now in Poland as well. Okay, Mark Szymikowski, thank you very much for your analysis. Thank you. Thank you for having a reminder of our breaking news story, the Pakistan Stock Exchange Bill.